Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog, man. It's K510 Automotive Group. Today, man, we coming with another video, man. I don't know if you guys enjoying these these videos, man. Um, yeah, man, I've been trying to just upload as much as possible. Trying to stay busy, you know, trying to stay focused and build my brand, you know what I mean? But yeah, today, man, we still working on the E36. Kind of got um the front end back together, so I'm so excited to show you guys how it's going to look. Um, it still need to get painted and stuff like that, so just be mindful of that, you know, it's not complete. Just, I just want it to look like a car again and be able to drive it again, you know. So, yeah, you still got to get painted. Still got to, you know what I mean? Still got to get ran through, you know, double check over the work and make sure the suspension tight needs alignment. You know, it still need a lot of work, man, but I'm just going to show y'all the new front end of the E36. Check it out. Damn, look at that, baby. Got the M3 bumper. Everything is brand new. You know, everything. Everything is brand new, man. Got the aluminum radiator, upgraded the radiator. And I got the new mounts for the electric fan, too. Um, let, me grab, let me grab those right now. All right, guys, so these are the new mounts for the electric fan. Let me take them out. Show you guys. Yeah, so these are the mounts. So I, I didn't have to pay for these. Um, they had sent me the new mounts. If you ever seen a previous video, you will see when the damn um, when when the I don't know. I guess it was just loose, loosely attached, and it just fell apart. In the video, so I, I left that clip in. Just you know, what I mean, just to show y'all, like that was some real shit that happened. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I got the new the new mounts for the fans here now. So I'm about to sh install them and show y'all. You know what really happened with that? All right. So um, they had some Allen bolts holding it, but this is one of the new mounts. I got four of them. So they just sit into here, and just go in this groove. I don't know how mine broke, but um, yeah, man. We're about to just remove all these broken mounts. And install the new ones. I'm about to install them now. this one out because the one I have now is like is all bent up and stuff so I mean hopefully it makes I mean it's bent up right there bad so yeah this would be a lot better than using that one so all right let's do that let's install the new one all right guys we replaced uh all right guys we replaced uh the trans cooler this one was all bent bent up so we installed the used one but the thing is this is like a uh it's an automatic so i had to like mount it with zip ties because normally it bolts up to the radiator and this is an aftermarket aluminum radiator so it doesn't have the mounts for it so kind of zip tied it here Looks pretty, pretty firm. Like it's not gonna move. And with the electric fan, it should be, it should get cooled with the uh, electric fan mounted up. So yeah, you can see it inside the grill right here. It looks pretty firm. Like it's braced up there, pretty tight. So I don't think it's gonna like get damaged or anything. And then I have these mounts for the radiator. So the radiator is gonna be pretty. Pretty stable. So, next part of the puzzle that I gotta figure out is, um, so I got the harness for the coolant temp sense sensor. I gotta figure out where to put the um, the coolant reservoir. Cause normally you have the fan shroud. No, 
normally you have the fan trap that it mounts on. Let me show y'all an old one. I took it from a, um, a card that I had previously. So it's supposed to be mounted up like this normally to the fan trap. So I don't know if I might have to cut this up to make it fit. But this is my new um, expansion tank. So I gotta figure out how to mount this thing. Cause instead of this, we have this electric fan. So we don't have that piece anymore. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably gonna cut this camera on when I figure it out. Cause I gotta see what makes sense and what's gonna be more stable. I don't want it like falling. Like I don't want it to be rattling, damaging the car when I'm driving it, you know? I might put a hole into one of these components when I'm driving. So let me figure that out, guys, and I'll show y'all what I came up with. All right, guys, so now we're moving on to the next thing, which is the side skirts. So I did get some M3 side skirts. I might as well just get the whole kit at this point, get the rear bumper and the rear spoiler. But yeah, let's check it out. All right, so I already pulled it out the box. So this, this is the right side. So this is what we got. Up. Up. Something like this. Um, we're finally going to just put this thing back on the ground. Um, I ran into some issues with the electric fan. I don't have enough clearance for it, um, running it with the shroud. So. I'm gonna try to um, I'm gonna try something different, man. I'm gonna try to um, get some radiator mounts, like zip tie mounts, and try to see if I can run it with that. But I did see um, I did see um, this kit on um, the Mishimoto um, website. They got a nice kit, like a fan shot with the um, with the um, coolant reservoir already attached to it. I think I might just go for that. Um, that might be the next step in just, you know, rebuilding the cooling system in this thing, man. Because right now, I got it all rigged up with zip ties for the reservoir. So, let me get a light so I can show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, so right now I got my um, reservoir like kind of rigged up. I got the hoses going on. See, I got the reservoir return holes, the pickup holes, the upper radiator holes, the lower radiator holes right here. So the reservoir, I got it connected. I think these wires out the way. I'm definitely gonna find. I gotta put all the wires together. So I got it connected kind of weird. Um, I like cut half of the old frying shroud out. So I can use that as like a bracket to like station, like keep it stationary. So right now it ain't gonna move. Like it's, it's pretty like, it's pretty firm. Like it's not gonna move a lot. I even had to um, zip tie the trans cooler because this aftermarket radiator didn't have a mount for the auto transmission so it's a lot of things that I noticed with this like aftermarket kit if you have auto it's like you gotta like put it together to make it work on your car it's not like out the box but Mishimoto man they had a nice one man like it even had the radiator mount I mean the trans cooler mounts on it it had the um had the trans cooler mounts it has the coolant reservoir mount and it's a fan shroud that goes on to, and it the, the radiator that it comes with everything is everything is plug and play with the mishimoto kit um this is like an ebay aluminum so i mean an ebay radiator so um yeah it's not like it's made for this car but it's kind of like 
you gotta figure it out and put it in, you know. I try to use a lot of OEM hardware to keep it, you know, natural. But yeah, definitely, if Mishimoto see this video, man, I need a sponsorship or like, even if it's just um, employee pricing, you know what I mean? I don't care what it is, man. If y'all wanna help out this build, man, um, yeah, I'm gonna send a DM too, just, you know, just to extend my hand a little bit more. But um, yeah, man, um, I mean, if not, I'll still get it how I get it, you know? I'll do it the way I need to do it, the correct way. But um, yeah, that'll be helpful if you guys can help out with that. But yeah, man, um, yeah. So right now I'm just, I'm beat on the, on the fan, the uh, fan truck. Cause like it's too close to the, the water pump. So it's basically rubbing on the stud of the water pump. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's rubbing on the stud of the water pump. I had two different fans. Um, the back end of the fan, this is the one that I have, they came with the kit. So the back end of it is like too, like pokes out too much. And I have another fan, it's kind of like a slim fan, so the back is way flatter, so it doesn't poke as much. But the only thing, um, I couldn't run, I would run this fan, but it doesn't line up with the fan trout mounts for this older fan. I mean, for this uh, the, the fan that it came with. This is like a, a spare fan I had, but um, yeah, um, it wouldn't mount up to the um, to the fan trout. You know, it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. It doesn't really fit it, so. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. So that's what I'm doing right now, man. Um, I'm kind of beat. I'm kind of beat on the cooling side right now. So I gotta um, I gotta uh, try it a different way, just for my likings. I can run it like this, but I like stuff like I like it. I like it. You know how can you say um? proper installed you know what i mean like i like it where it needs to be you know i don't want to drive it and go over a bump and cut a hose and then i'm stranded on the side of the road or something like that so it's looking like i'm gonna have to um redo the kit i mean i can make it work i can make it work but i just feel like it wouldn't be as efficient as that setup you know but um yeah i mean i'm I'm gonna get it drivable right now, just so I can move it around at the at the house, and then I'm, I'm gonna probably get back on this later, cause I do have a few <laughs> few projects. I'm just trying to add a little bit of time in each one. So yeah, all right, guys, let's get to work. I'm gonna try to get this thing back together, put it on the wheels, put it down on the ground. All right, guys, so we back, man. Um. Just put the car down on the ground. I'm about to put it outside. Um, I still gotta wait for some more parts to come. So I can't really, I can't really bleed out the uh, cooling system because I don't have the electric fan mounted yet. So, yeah, man, I mean, I'm just glad that we came a long way with this build, man. Um, I got caught up trying to, you know, trying to get it done too fast, you know. Um, Sometimes you gotta leave room for error. You know, you can't just think everything's gonna go your way all the time. You gotta leave room, you know, for um, improvement. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, um, I just wanna say um, thank you guys for celebrating my birthday for me without knowing it's my birthday. So, um, happy Thanksgiving. All right, guys, I got the car running outside. So far, it looks good, man. Probably the first time I ever had it like idling. Sounds pretty cool. That is rubbing. I think it's so crazy seeing this thing with a front end on again. The headlights working. 
I need a bulb on this side. Yeah, man, I seen it on the floor on its own weight. Got the 540 in the back on there. I haven't got that in a minute. Let me get it. Four more. It's kind of crazy. See this thing run. <laughs> oh, that's crazy hearing that, bro. I miss that sound, man. I miss it. Yeah, but man, next video, man. About to get dirty. Real dirty on my on my pilot. I've been neglecting it, so I'm gonna show it some love, man. And um, yeah, man. Stay tuned for the next uh, episode or the next video. Um, and just remember, man, because it's K510, you can make five, you can make ten. Keep going up. Peace.